What's going on everyone? This is Kunal. So I'm starting a new series on cybersecurity regarding the blockchain. And part one of this series is going to be cybersecurity for the blockchain. Now, I want to start by saying that blockchain itself, the core technology and the core protocols, is a cybersecurity feature of the, the blockchain itself and of cryptocurrency itself because of the decentralization and the protocols that are involved on the internet that allow for blockchain to exist so it's it's adding a layer of cybersecurity to your data and it's just by in its, its very existence and just by its nature however blockchain does have its uh, shortcomings especially when you're talking about the back end and developing projects on top of blockchain so i'll start by saying what this article describes right here which is on the mit technology review and it's called ethereum smart contracts are full of holes so blockchain powered computer programs promise to re revolutionize the digital economy but new research suggests they're far from secure so computer programs that run on blockchain are shaking up the financial system but much of the hype around what are called smart contracts is just that it's a brand new field and security researchers are now coming to terms with what, what a smart contract vulnerability even looks like. So this article goes into detail talking about giving us a uh, section by section on why uh, news, new ICOs that are coming out, providing new applications for smart contracts are awesome. But over here, it discusses, you know, that, you know, nearly 34,000 vulnerabilities right here were found on the blockchain right 34,000 vulnerabilities now how much money is involved when you're talking about 34,000 this article over here on zd.net says that poor smart contract coding exposes millions of dollars in ethereum researchers have discovered over 30,000 contracts are open to exploit and this article explains that you know 34,200 of these contracts currently in circulation have exposed millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency to the risk of theft um, it was only back in November when the intelli intelligent element of smart contracts was cast into doubt after an individual known only as DevOps199 stumbled across the library code of a smart contract facilitating the trade and storage of Ethereum. Um, so before I continue, I do want to give you guys a personal story of mine. Uh, I was personally, uh, let's just use the term, uh, you know, uh, engaged with a... <clears throat> project called Monero Gold and this project was on coin exchange and what this project looked like it had apparently been uh, approved by coin exchange and it had been on uh, the on the exchanges on you know you could buy and sell it for uh, BTC and ETH uh, trading pairs and it looked like it was a pretty hot project. They said that they were legitimately, you know, a Monero gold and offshoot of Monero. And uh, there was nothing in the smart contract that looked shady. Uh, they had, you know, thousands of followers on Twitter and other areas. And so uh, what ha ended up happening was there was an infinite minting hole, security hole in the contract that allowed the developers to come in and uh, come in and you know just m randomly bring in millions of Monero gold tokens and screw over any any of the holders, and so the the problem that that brings up is a problem that need, can be addressed by many of the projects I'm going to discuss that are involving uh, security uh, for the blockchain. So the user managed to trigger a major vulnerability in the Parity multi-sig wallet, albeit reported by reportedly by accident, thereby making himself the owner of the smart contract controlling user wallets in the chain and library. In the panic, the user then wiped out some of the core library code, freezing Ethereum belonging to approximately 500 wallets and worth roughly $150 million. Um, and this may be only the first indicator of a wider problem. Uh, researchers from the National University of Singapore and the UK's University College uh, London have discovered a total of 34,000 
smart contracts. In a paper documenting the research, the team developed and implemented a tool called MAIAN to analyze roughly 1 million smart contracts for vulnerabilities, which would permit the freeze of cryptocurrency leaks or the destruction of contracts altogether. Um, and so let's now discuss some projects that are looking to solve this issue because smart contracts right now are the weak link in secu security and cybersecurity on the blockchain. So the first project is Quanstamp sitting at 17.6 cents with about a hundred million dollar market cap and very nice volume and the circulating supply of 617 million with a total supply of under a billion at 976 million and uh, if you want to pick it up you can pick it up mostly on Binance and Huobi but there are other places as well like KuCoin, Gate.io and IDEX. So what is Quantstamp? Uh, let's first take a look at their social media and you can uh, securing smart contracts right so let's try to identify what it's doing when it means when it's talking about securing smart contracts so complete an automated smart contract health report in minutes because we've audited millions of dollars worth of smart contracts we understand how challenging it is to uncover potential vulnerabilities now you can use your QSP to assess the health of any smart contracts um, pretty cool right so get a security report for any smart contract on ethereum what you do is you use the QSP tokens right pay 25 QSP to get an audit on any smart contract on ethereum so this will directly for someone like me a, a you know some a, you know someone who's just you know involved average person involved with crypto if you <laughs> if you want to find out whether a a token has a or a smart contract has some sort of vulnerability like an infinite minting issue right or maybe a legitimate vulnerability from outside instead of an insider threat it would be an outsider threat somebody trying to hack the code maliciously or do something else uh you know you 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 hit that you get that situation where you can pay some quant stamp and get a full audit and look over here it can flag issues it can get audits done and it can give you reports and that's just an example of quantstamp being able, a use case of quantstamp uh let's go further here on the website um if so it says it let's let's see what their services are so we understand that evolving complexities of smart contracts and are positioned to help our clients understand what aspects of their business can benefit from the blockchain and smart contracts so again it starts to go into more detail of what they're doing and how they've ex, uh, ex expanded out uh 117 million dollars plus secured by quantstamp audits 100 plus tokens audited on binance four regional offices 500 plus securely related academic citations uh this is really cool they have the proof of caring uh consensus method which is an interesting way to say hey you know if you can prove that you care about quant stamp or you're a good supporter you can get uh you can get some quant stamp tokens um so that's quant stamp in a nutshell uh, they're looking to just to be clear looking to secure smart contracts so directly solving the number one uh, vulnerability and security vulnerability on blockchain itself on the back end and number two trying to address this is blue protocol blue protocol sitting at 15.2 cents a very low market cap 5.5 um, .5 million dollars uh, circulating supply of um, 36.6 million total supply of 42 million so almost all of the supply is out and what are they trying to do so let's take a look at the website here blue protocol so they are trying to if this will load decentralize two-factor authentication blacklisting whitelisting auto smart contract scanning and more so based on the if you guys want to go to the podcast um uh hang on if if we can get to the all coin buzz podcast over here blue protocol really did an amazing job of right here if you look at number 10 podcast interview with blue protocol so if you guys want to take a look and check that out you can do that as well and what that was about is discussing blue with the blue protocol ceo um issues regarding you know how what they plan to do so one of the things they plan to do is to have automated auto smart contract reviews so 
they want to go on every single other third party. So whether it's a, 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 uh, an exchange like Binance or Bittrex or whatever, or, you know, individual wallets, right? That, that end users use. They can have their, uh, protocol scan contract, smart contracts on every single one of these either exchange wallets or private wallets and automatically give you an answer as to whether they are they are you know secure smart contracts safe safe to good to go smart contracts or they're malicious smart contracts and all you have to do is you know hold blue a, a certain amount of blue tokens and that's pretty cool if you can could go in and read a little bit more uh it all began with the blue community an idea an obsession an obsession, a momentum that could never be stopped. From that moment until this, we push harder than the previous day to create the decentralized future that hasn't come fast enough. It all begins with fraud and spam. Again, directly uh, solving the issue that I personally f dealt with. It happened with the internet and it's happening again with cryptocurrencies. So number one, eliminate all fraud. Bring world-class security to the unregulated industry. Number two, bring in the masses. Give humanity 100% control of their life and money. And number three, innovate forever after. In a decentralized world, nothing else survives. So this part I really liked unregulated industry right so many governments are trying to come in and say yeah we need to now regulate crypto and all this other stuff and if you want to keep uh blockchain decentralized if you want to keep it uh, away from governments and independent and free um it, you're going to need self-regulation so it's going to be blockchain projects that are going to have to hold other blockchain projects to account and that's why i really like projects like quantstamp and now blue and you can read their white paper here and you can join their developer team too um and the blue also of course has its own blue wallet which is already secured uh i personally have, have added the um blue wallet extension for chrome so it's pretty cool so that's blue in a nutshell the next protocol that i'm going to talk about is enigma protocol so this one is really interesting uh it's not it has two different uh solutions that it's showing but one of its functionalities i thought was really important for security so groundbreaking privacy technologies right so what does that mean how does that uh, fit into cybersecurity for the blockchain so the they talk about blockchain facing two major issues one is scalability but the other one that's pertinent here is privacy so data on the blockchain is accessible by anyone, making stro storing sensitive data impossible. This restricts the number of applications for blockchain. So this makes sense, right? If you're, let's say, for example, you're a company that has a lot of, that would need to store a lot of information on the blockchain. If you're using blockchain as a, you know, decentralized database, if you will, for your services, for your information, you would need to, you can't just put that information out on the public, right? On a public ledger. You need some sort of a pri privacy measure built into on the blockchain in order for you to say, okay, I'm going to take my data and I'm going to adopt the blockchain and I'm going to put it on the decentralized network. So Enigma solves that problem uh, by this. This part is really key. With Enigma, smart contracts become secret contracts where input data is kept hidden from nodes in the Enigma network that execute code. Without this functionality to protect sensitive data, blockchains and smart contracts are either useless or not truly decentralized. So Enigma is a missing piece of the decentralized future. Uh, so yeah, so they talk again about the protocol layer where the privacy protocol allows for decentralized computation of sensitive data. So I believe that that is a key issue when it comes to decentralization and security as well. Um, because again, if you're talking about a cyber security your information security is a key part of that and just to give you a token metrics update enigma sitting here at two dollars and one cent with 150 million dollar market cap good volume and a circulating supply of almost 75 million with a total supply of 150 million and if you want to pick it up you can pick it up on binance and huobi and bitrex just to give you an update on blue as well if you want to pick it up you can pick it up on Coin Exchange, IDEX, and Ether Delta. Um, so this is just a, a, a part one of a series that I'm going to do on cybersecurity. The next two series are going to be uh, cybersecurity on the blockchain, meaning the blockchain projects that are actually uh, addressing cybersecurity. And there are many pr uh, projects like that. Um, an example of that would be Hacken. So 
I, I, that's going to be my second series. And then my third series is going to be end user cybersecurity involving the blockchain. So that's going to be interesting. Um, an example of that would be two factor authentication. So it'll be interesting for me to go through all three of these sections. Um, in the meantime, please uh, follow us on Twitter at altcoinbuzz.io right here. Over up to 75,000 followers and counting. Um, we do have an iTunes podcast site as well where you guys can check it out um, where we put all of our latest podcasts on iTunes whenever this wants to load. There you go. And the, the one that I like the most right here is the, the chat with Blue. Uh, that's, one of, that's my favorite podcast so far. I really enjoyed it. It was really in-depth and was able to understand what Ethereum Blue was trying to do and Blue Protocol, as they call themselves now, was trying to do. So that's... Uh, some of our uh, uh hang on some of our stuff uh coin let's see if i can find the youtube all coin buzz here internet's a little slow today it must be around labor day a little little slow <laughs> but there you go uh here's our all coin buzz uh, youtube channel please like and subscribe and again uh thank you very much